Now, just because um, we have specific people assigned to handle marketing doesn't mean we don't want you to have the information of the principles that we use to market the store. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of those things. One of the things that we look at is real estate. So think you have a gorgeous waterfront piece of property um, and then you have a shack. You don't wanna take the shack and put it on that waterfront property. You wanna take a beautiful mansion and put it on that waterfront property. And that's how it is with marketing. We are not gonna take our sugar-free items and put those on the best real estate real estate in the store on the front breakdown table. No, we're gonna take our caramel corn or our peanut corn because A, it's an incredible product. It has really, really good margin. It's one of the items we actually make money on in the store and we're gonna to wanna to put that um, on that front display because we have a higher margin on it. It's an excellent product. And it's not that our sugar-free products aren't excellent. It's just that they're targeted for a very narrow section of our customer base. And so we're not gonna feature that product. Um, so that's one of the principles is they put the best house on the best real estate in the store. Um, so that's why just pay attention if we say, oh, we don't have as good of a margin on that item. That actually matters, right? We're not going to take all of our low margin items that we just have because there's a demand for them, but we actually have a really, really, really slim margin on them and put those in our best spots. No, we're going to take the things we make in store that have really high margins and we're going to put that in the best space in the store.